Let's get some practice with locating and finding files on an Ubuntu system. So suppose I want to find all files that have the string LFS 300 in them. So I could do locate LFS 300. And it finds indeed just one file that's in the home student directory on a subdirectory there. And I could also find it by doing find dot meaning the current directory name, LFS 300 star, and then I'll see it finds it. And if I want to find out a little more, I can give the LS option, which will show me who owns it, what group they're in, the length of the file, the inode, the date, etc. Now, if I create another file, just by doing echo into LFS 300, so it creates essentially an empty file, the find command will find the new file as well as the old one, but the locate command will not because I need to update the database that, uh, that the locate command uses. And I do that by running as root, so I need sudo, sudo update db, and that was pretty quick. Uh, and then if I say locate it, now it finds both files. Okay, and um, just to get rid of the file I didn't really need, I'll remove it. I'll run update db again. Well, I need it to be root, so I have to say sudo. And then once again, locate fs300 won't find this new file. Now I can configure update db and locate to do a bunch of things. So if I go to the etc directory, you'll see there's a file called update db.conf and it controls where update db does not look, where locate does not look. So for instance under prune tasks it says don't look in these places like the temp directory because they're temporary and you don't want to keep track of what's there particularly. And prunefs, these are file systems, really pseudo file systems that are not real file systems that you shouldn't look in because they're also the uh, contents change every time you boot, let's say. Uh, so for instance, you don't look in the proc directory or the sysfs directory or the dev directory, uh, well, devfs directory, because these things disappear every time you reboot. Uh, and so it's pretty easy to configure. There's some other things you can do, which you can learn by looking at the documentation on your system.